the full moon of the month of Shravana. It's a wonderful day. It's a holiday in India, and that holiday is called Rakshabandha, or better known as Rocky Day. Rocky Day is a traditional holiday, especially uh, popular in the north of India, and it celebrates the protection of sisters by brothers. This is probably the origins of Rocky Day. And on this day, uh, brothers all over India tie a Rocky, a thread or a celebratory uh, uh, bracelet on the wrists of their sisters. Now, the origins of this holiday are kind of interesting. They go back to deep traditional bonds, um, not only between brother and sister, but as an explanation of the greater task of the extended family. So when young women were uh, betrothed in marriage, it was certainly the case that they were going to leave their natal home. They're going to become part of a new family. And in that vulnerable and disempowered place, they would then have to rise, as it were, to the occasion of childbirth, to wife, to uh, a new mother-in-law, to a whole set of new familial circumstances. Their advocate was, of course, their brother. Their father and mother had given them away in marriage, and their brother is now their lifelong advocate. He achieves this, of course, within the new family by promising to be the protector, the advocate, and the best friend of his new brother-in-law and their children. And so a sister or a daughter, a young woman, has an advocate in her brother in the family. And to celebrate this wonderful way in which this bond is created over a lifetime, brothers from the time they're a very small tie, Rockies on the wrists of their sisters. This continues all the way through the marriage ceremony. It is usually, in a traditional Hindu wedding, uh, a, a brother who gives away the bride. Father steps to the side, having already made that decision uh, to be a good father and let his daughter go. And so Rocky Day is a day of celebrating these deep bonds of protection, these extended uh, feelings we have for family, this creativity of a new family, and to celebrate on the fullness of this moon, the month of August, uh, as the rains have subsided, as the heat is about to descend in India once again, we are in the midst of that place of fullness. And so Rocky Day becomes this celebration of this connection of protection and affection. But there's another wonderful thing, one more thing about Rocky Day. The word Rocky is a, a fantastic word. Of course, it, it refers to the verbal root that means to protect. And this word carries into many forms. The demons of the Sanskrit tradition, one of those uh, words for demon is rakshasa, the protected ones. We might ask why demons are protected, but let's keep going. That word rocky will take us to the word raka, laksha, laka, all the way to the English word lacquer, to a protectorate. There's a very famous and ancient story in the Mahabharata about a house of lack, a house uh, that is protected by a lacquer, by a sheen. That lacquer then uh, is volatile and dangerous. And in the Mahabharata, the house of lack story becomes a story of danger and of the attempted arsonist murder. So there's a long and storied history of lack and rock as being both protective and dangerous, vulnerable, threatened, and yet at the same time, uh, some kind of protecting formulation. And so Rocky Day takes us to lack, lack takes us to lacquer, and interestingly, all the way to that old Germanic word for salmon, bagels, and lox. Now, I'm not really kidding you at all. The word Rocky takes you to bagels and lox. Why lox? Well, in the old Germanic languages, lox refer, to, of course, to the migrating salmon, who migrated in such enormous numbers. What kind of numbers? Lax and lax. This word lack in Hindi still means the number 100,000. And what happens when 100,000 salmon swim upstream? They create a lacquer. They create a sheen, a protecting uh, barrier. And so this notion of being protected, of being in large number, of being in safe company be and reducing one's vulnerability by the connections we make, uh, this carries all the way from this lovely and sweet holiday of Rocky Day to Bagels and Locks. So today is the day we tie a simple bracelet on the, br on the wrists of our sisters 
as a token and an emblem of protection, of affection, and of this enduring way in which our mutual vulnerability opens us to the affections of a lifetime. A Rocky. Happy Rocky Day, Annie. Happy Rocky Day, Douglas. <laughs>